I have an iPhone 7 Plus here with guy said it was charging had some charging issues and it was getting really hot and uh, sure enough the CPU is just smoking well you know what it's not too bad after it boots up a little bit well I don't know it's not anyways it's not too hot but and then you know it's pulling one amp on it so it's charging fine um, but uh, it seems like everything works except for the gyroscope. Gyroscope doesn't really work. All right. So look, the, there's no ball, doesn't move or anything like that. Okay, so um, the screen works fine. Let's see. So here's what I've here's what I noticed. Okay, so the first thing was there is this little component right here missing, um, which uh, let's see if I can get this a little bit more clear for you guys. Okay, so that com little component was missing, which was LCM to Mini B Sync Con. I I don't even know what that is, but you know, from what I understand, the B Sync is for the touch. So this this may have pertained to the touch, but the touch was working fine on this. So I mean, I'd probably have to just dig a little bit deeper in the schematics, then then we can probably figure out exactly what it does. You know. Uh, so this goes to U twenty three zero one. I'm not sure what that is, but I think that'd probably give us an idea of what exactly this line does. But anyways, so I replaced that filter. All right, that was missing. And another thing I noticed was that it's got a little bit of long screw damage. I mean, you can't really see it that well, but uh, you can kind of see it. Maybe a little bit. Anyways, it's got a little long screw damage, okay? So, let's go to ZXW tools here. Oh man. So we got three traces here, which is the XW shows. One, two, three. Okay. So I have traced this one to, uh, this is a TriStar. So this is a TriStar um, pin right here. I think this is like something ACC2 and to something. I think this is actually a filter here. So there's also a test point. Uh, there it is right here. There's a test point right there. So I actually checked the test point and I'm getting a pretty good uh, diode mode reading. All right, But it doesn't necessarily mean a whole, whole lot. I mean, it just means that you know this checks fine to here, which means that we're, you know we're getting connection from here to the chip okay because I, I confirmed it with a known good board um, you know what let's just do it right now real quick this is on my donor board here diode mode point five four six all right this is my real board my the one I'm working on point Five three seven. Okay, so then since we're not really having any charging problems, I don't think we're having charging problems at least. Uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say that that trace is probably pretty good. Okay, so the second line is second line is uh, this is the gyroscope accelerometer or whatever it's called right here. Um, so that connects there, and we know that the gyroscope's not working. So my guess is maybe this trace is broken, or shorted, or something like that, which is making something really get hot. Uh, so, and then this one right here leads to the CPU. Uh, it's the 14th pin starting from this dot right here, and one in, which is actually the AP to LCM reset line. So I don't think that's messed up because we would probably get a black screen otherwise and there's really no way of testing AP to LCM reset aside from uh, shaving that L that uh, CPU down alright 
So I think we have a torn trace here. I'm not positive. Uh, how do we test it? I wonder if we can. I wonder if we can get this gyroscope here. And maybe we can just test this pin, and see if the diode node. But I think I think the pin is. I think the pin is uh, buried, so I don't think we're gonna be able to access it. But let's let's go to the other ZXW tools here. Maybe there's something we can. You know what? There probably is something we can check into, which I think I've already done actually. So let's let's bring up the other ZXW tools here. Okay, here you go. So this trace goes to the second pin right here. Okay, so we can we can definitely check it. So let's see. Where are we at? Okay, right there. All right, so one, two, three. Third one. Okay, so it's going to be this empty one. All right, and we're going to get it from ground to this pin right here. It says point five zero two. So let's check with our known good board. Point five. Uh, It's a little bit blurry for me. 0.525. So I think we're good. I mean, I, I, I'm, I just, I really don't think there's any long street damage. Point five zero two. I mean, it's possible. Um. So does we're let's look at all the the points that these this connects to because the point. Five two whatever we're getting could just be this uh, com this uh, chip right here. Okay, so I guess what we can really do to test it is well, I guess if anything, we probably wouldn't get continuity from this point to. Uh, this point to all the way over there. So uh, I don't. I didn't take the shield off my my thing here, but this is my test board right here. And let, let's see if we're getting something here. Let's see what we're getting here. Point five two three. Okay. So I guess we probably should probably take the shield off maybe and check for continuity because we know the gyroscope is not working so something's up with that. But I guess we can check for continuity between here and here. And that is that is good. So really don't want to have to remove the shield. But I don't think I don't see any other option here. So uh, do we do it or do we not do it? What do we do here, man? I mean, what is it? Where does this lead to, anyways? Let's let's. Where is this? What does this lead to right here? Is it a filter? It's a resistor which goes to ground. Okay. Goes to the CPU. Okay. Point five zero still. It should be like a little bit higher, I believe. So let's short this. Make sure there's no caps that are interfering with the reading. Point five zero three. Hmm. So is it possible that that resistor is causing a little bit of a difference? Uh, okay, so I think what we have to do is probably just lift the shield here and pray. Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. I don't think there's any way around it. I don't even want to take it out of the board, but... All right, I'm going to try to take this battery off. Since it was already replaced, there we go. Okay, that'll make things a little bit easier. And then I'm actually gonna put a little cap on on it. And, uh, hopefully, we can avoid any major damage to anything.
it's not gonna work if I kept on this, is it? Okay. Uh, let me get my thing here. Yeah. Yeah. It works on our brand new screen. So it's probably, uh, it's part of the connector, right? Yeah, so it's, so it's probably a bad joint somewhere on the connector, but you just need to find out which joint it is. I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyways, all right. So we are. Oh man, let's get moving here. <laughs> all right, let's try not to drag this out. So let's see if we get a reading over here on this resistor. So this is 0 .4704, which may be okay because. Uh, so I guess we, I guess what we can do is just check for continuity between here and all the way over here. And there is continuity. So I really don't think there's any long screw damage. Um, at this point, I, don't, I really just don't even think there's any wrong, anything wrong with it. Um, although gyroscope doesn't work, right? So what else? What else could it be? Why doesn't the gyroscope work? Yeah, let's see. Okay, let's let's maybe take some of this stuff off, and maybe we can see, maybe something happened here. I do see a little bit of something new here. Look at this filter here. It looks like it's blown, doesn't it? You can't really see it that well, but I can see it, and half is like the top corner is missing. So let's just check for continuity across this big filter. Oh, well, there's definitely continuity across it, but it doesn't look well. So I guess the question is, what is this damn thing? What is this thing right here? This is PP1V8. Okay, so this power, this provides power to. Well, this is just a cap, a big cap. Okay. Oh, hold on. That's a big cap. Oh, it's a shorted cap. Interesting. Ah, that's our problem. Okay. So let's go back to our donor board here and make sure this is not shorted. And then we are in business, I think. Sure enough, we are in business. We're good to go. I think we found our problem. All right. Oh, okay. So this right here cap is shorted on on our on the board we're working on, and uh, it's not shorted on this donor board. So we're just gonna pop it out of this, which makes sense because this is this is the power I believe to. This is the power to the um. To the gyroscope, and if it's shorted, then we're, we're going to get bad. And then, if it's shorted, gyroscope's not going to work. In addition, um, we're probably going to get a little bit of heat. 
So that makes sense. There's my gyroscope pad. Okay. So it looks like looks like I don't know what happened here, but maybe maybe something slipped or something, you know. Maybe something slipped, man. So this is, you know what, let's just test this real quick just to confirm for certain. But you can already tell that it's already jacked up, so. I know you can't really see it that well right now, but how about now? Can you see it better? How about now? See it? See, the, see it's chipped? So let's just confirm with our multimeter. And... Yes, it is low resistance. Shorted, actually. Okay, this is bad. <sighs> All right, so before we do anything, let's tin this sucker. I like seeing a nice little bead of solder pop up on these things, you know. Then I'll stick my tweezers in here and uh, just really just let the, the solder do the work. Somebody calling me, man. In the middle of work. Alright, pause. You know, I get a call from a number a number that is similar to my my number uh, but off by a few digits usually the last few and I don't know what they do but they robocall and basically just alter the number and they just call everybody you know with an alter number alright anyways um so I'm hoping that this will solve everything right here Okay. That's the sound of my alcohol dispenser, which I have to pump up every day before alcohol comes out. Work! Swear, man, if you can make a good alcohol dispenser, you'd be rich. Gosh, every day. This drive me crazy. Usually, it doesn't take as long. I'm going to unleash it. About two minutes of wasted productivity right there. Because of a stupid alcohol dispenser. Okay, so let's check diode mode. Should be right around 0.48 or something, whatever it is. So as long as that is good, I'm confident that we have fixed the issue. 0.48, okay. That's close enough. I'm gonna take this little piece of tape off too and from my donor board. Pop it on another. 
And uh, I want to thank Ron for sending me all these donor boards, man. They have helped me quite a bit. Ron from New Jersey. Oh, okay. Deep breath, man. I, I battled with an iPad Pro yesterday, which had some daughterboard issues. We're still battling it right now. And that got me all rattled up. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know what? I'm actually going to put this shield back. Just because I don't want it to damage anything. I'll just kind of lay it on top and then I'll, I'll, I'll solder it back on later. Because it got really hot earlier. Okay. Alright. Alright, this thing finally booted up here. Um, you can see the gyroscope is working. Kind of. No, it works. It wasn't doing this earlier. It wasn't moving at all earlier. So, so this definitely fixed the problem. And uh, I'm hoping it fixed the really hot... You know, it's getting really hot. So uh, hopefully that was part of the problem. I mean, there was a short on the PP1B8 line. So that would make sense, right? Uh, CPU is getting really hot earlier, um, so all it takes is one capacitor, and boom, man, you're you're you know you got issues, you know. So I'm gonna leave this plugged in for a little bit, because before I charge it, maybe like five ten minutes, and it, it only went up like one or two percent. So I'm gonna leave it plugged in, but I'm gonna say that this is good to go now.